Uh, uh, spoiler alert, we did not summit, but we did end up uh, running into some pretty wild weather. I mean, this is not your uh, poo poo point hike, your Mount Si. This is a legitimate volcano, and if you are planning on making a trip to one of these volcanoes, you want to make sure you're prepared uh, because these mountains can be dangerous. You're hiking on real glaciers, and uh, as you can see with this video here, you also can run into some pretty wild weather. Glacier Peak is a Washington volcano nobody knows about. Most only see it when they fly in and out of SeaTac. It's so secluded, a hike from the trailhead to summit and back again is well over 30 miles. The majority of summit attempts take three to four days. We tried to do it in two. We started off from the North Fork Salk River Trailhead, the first five miles offering little elevation gain. The scenery is lush, and we hardly saw another soul the entire walk in. This is when the hike starts to go up. Unrelenting switchbacks with only the view across the valley to mark your progress. The trees eventually clear, even though on this day, the weather did not. A constant light rain and obscured visibility kept us company the entire day. This area is full of marmots. They sound the alarm when danger approaches. Oh my God. There's a reason they're called whistle pigs. <laughs> We took a break at White Pass, 10 miles into the hike and the mountain nowhere to be seen. It was time to find a campsite. We're gonna go that way for about 30 minutes and hope for the best. Donning crampons, we hiked along a steep slope looking for someplace out of the wind and the rain. We ended up camping on the calm side of a ridge line. It was nice enough. The slope required digging out a flat spot for our tents. At the time, the weather calm enough to melt snow and cook dinner. It was right about bedtime when the wind picked up. 40 to 50 mile per hour gusts thrashed our tents. Snow stakes had to be reinforced and guidelines strung out. It was a long night. So we woke up this morning, it's still really windy, but we're making the executive decision to pack up, turn around and live to hike another day. So we did make it back alive. We were about five miles shy of our summit attempt. And if you are going to be uh, planning any trips like this, make sure you're prepared. You have glacier traversing uh, training and you have the proper gear uh, to make a summit attempt like that. So it, it, it is a summit that I will try maybe uh, on a nicer day. Uh, this attempt was at the end of June when the weather was still a little bit iffy. And with the sunny weather, I'm sure a lot of folks are heading up in the mountains these days.